Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. It's a lovely day here in Georgetown, Guyana. Today, me and my bike Raj, we up in Mahaika, Dihoop Mahaika. As you can see over there is Uncle Vic. We are heading into Dihoop. A friend of mine told me that, you know, I can go and catch some trench fish. Aribaki. So I'm about to go in there with Wiki Asnet to see if Baba Raj and me could get lucky today to get some fish and we can carry it home by Baba Raj and missing and Raj gonna be frying the fish here. already making dal and rice with baji so when we get home whatever fish we catch we catch we're gonna carry and we're gonna clean and we're gonna fry it and we're gonna have a nice lunch join me and let's begin the adventure we made a stop here by this fine young lady because we realized raj and i didn't walk with no container to put the fish when we catch it so we're getting some assistance from this fine young lady here we got a tub so if we catch fish now, man, we're gonna be putting them in that thing there. We, we, we expect to catch a lot of fish. Hi there. And thank you very much, alright? You're welcome, you yeah. guys stay safe. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Yeah. So we're going on the adventure now. As we make our journey down the, the hoop hiker road, you can see here this fella lighting the fire there, right? He born in the straw. As soon as you finish harvesting the paddy, this is what you do. The straw from the paddy, you light the fire on it. And you burn it so you can start recultivate back the land you can start plowing the land now over this one side you have rice down here but it's not fully ripe as yet the straw gets yellow when it's ripe and this one is still green so i run into some fellas here then by catching some fish man watch in the trench there wow the man gets some nice fish here by the sunfish sunfish and hurry and part one so broke neck wow so, but you ain't catching plenty of fish. The water, well, the water too high or something. We start for fun. We we there for a little fun trip, eh, man. So you're saying this trench got no fish, but you throw first. Let me see, buddy. <laughs> if you catch fish, me go start throw. If you not catch me, not throw. <laughs> me not let me net, net up. So you see, all the rice done cut off from these lands already, right? So the fish is not much fish left. Like when the rice no start cut, that's when you just catch the um the fish. All right, so this man make a nice throw there. Let me see where you gonna pull up there. You can get two hassa. The water shallow. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Stop. Stop here, okay. So you yeah, all throw a lot back, so? No, now we don't throw. First throw in? Yeah. Well, all right, let me see if we catch anything there. Now this man ain't catch nothing there, boy. No, 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 me with the media. Let's come in the corner, right? Me with the media at all. <laughs> all right, but at least I'm by catch curry there, right? <laughs> we got a fella. Cutting some body there. You know, that's a combine. Man, harvesting the body there. Wow. So now we in some serious problem. We ain't finding no fishing grounds where we can get some fish because hey, I call a few people in the cricket and say they told me. The fish are already catch out, so you ain't got no fish. So we reached the end of the road here, and we couldn't find no fishing ground. This is Baibu we reach here right now. From here you gotta walk, or you gotta hit the boat. You gotta take the boat to take. You gotta get a boat to take you where you wanna go. So I think we're gonna make our way back out. I don't think we're gonna catch anything in this creek. We can't, I don't think we can find any grounds to fish in, so we're gonna make our way back out. We can go to Monrepo Market, we can buy a little fish, and we can take it home and be single and fry it, and we can eat it with dal and rice and bhaji. We even get a chance to start fish because we find no way we can you know, catch some fish. You don't always catch fish, every day is fishing day, and every day is not catching day. So don't be disappointed if you don't catch fish today. Better luck tomorrow. I noticed a bird 
in this guy he gets stuck in this guy van and you know it's hot and this board can lose his life down here he can't find your way out why don't this guy boss open that this board can come out have you see that there's a board stuck in this guy boss and this guy boss luck oh my god So the board is still in there. But good, there he goes. Oh my god. There the board went. Look, it's flying all the way there. What a sign of relief for that board. Wow, it just flew away. So that's it. That's my act of kindness. Today, my purpose here in Mahaika was to rescue that bird that got stuck in this bus. As we make our way back to Manripo's market. We are passing through the Mahaika old road slash market and this is how the guys them drying the paddy this guy blowing out uh, all them wind paddy you know the ones that did not bear properly as a motor blown he's blowing it away and then you have the actual paddy is left and then you take it to the mill you get it deshelled or milled and you get rice hard physical labor what these guys are doing and of course y'all know we buy tub and sell everything for going to catch the fish but we catch nothing we didn't even trip cast no net because you know we didn't see nowhere where we could um, throw the net but Raj them buys the fish it best we buy some fish right for them fella there Wow, man, that's a nice fish here. Buy both the fish and banga and so. No company water. Water, right. worry. I Fresh. can sell. You can sell me some over. Yeah, sure. Ah, the company, little park. Good, good. Thanks, man. Yeah. The fish couldn't get fresher than this, boy. So right out of the Atlantic, right out of the boat, straight to these vendors, then to the market. Lovely. So we got a nice butter fish here, this man got in here. Oh, yeah. Wow, look, fish here, boy. Quality. Nice, nice quality oh, fish. Give it 2000 water fish and 2000 banga man. Please. So we get the fish freshy. So this is going to avoid us from going to the Monrepo market, you know. So from here we make it one drive straight home. And we can start frying. We can start frying these fish. Okay. Wow. They say it's only, only $20 fish. In the market, you pay double the price of this. So Guyana, y'all know where to come for get fish. Mahaika market, but this bridge here. The fish real cheap down here come from this bridge. You get wholesale price from the fish. I'm having the bar who go in the river and catch it yourself. These guys were telling me here, right? That if the relevant authority could make a little kind of war for them. So instead of being on the bridge or on the public road here, uh, floating fish. Over there, they're asking if the relevant authority can make a wharf, you know, a little pier or something for them that they can offload the fish and, you know, be away off the road, you know, rather than obstructing traffic. So, you know, guys in authority, if anyone of y'all see this video, please listen to the cry of these fishermen. They need to be off the road. They want the facility. Please facilitate them. Boy, oh boy. We got our fresh supply of Banga Mary and butter fish there. So we headed back straight to the kitchen boy. Now we made a good good decision to drive through this old market. We didn't know we were gonna meet these guys there to get fresh fish. So we don't have to go to Monrepo's market no more. We got eating inside we van there right now. Man got nice big snap on the way. So by Raj and me, we're heading out straight to the kitchen. We're back to Mun Repose. This is what the market looks like. It's 12:30 right now. And we are making our way into Mr. Singh's kitchen.
an old Morris Oxford car, they buy the red car. That's a, a car back in the 80s and late 70s. As we make our way home, look what we got here by missing already frying in some Mango Mary. Man, look the goodness see. I guess because we come home late now it's 12 30. So this girl switched to plan B, you know, start frying out some of these bangers she have. But we're gonna be cleaning the butter fish and we banger and we're gonna be frying some fresh as we can get. So I'm gonna buy Raj taste in the fish to buy. How the fish work? What? Well here, we got one thing to tell you when man hungry, anything that tastes good eh? <laughs> but apart from being hungry, this fish really tastes good. You got some nice lime juice pepper sauce there. Cheers. Mmm. Hi. Hey, what's up? So, my wife Raj and me, we cleaning up the banga here. So this team, but the only, the only um, disadvantage with this here, buying the Marple Market, the vendors them cleaning the fish wheel. They can have the scale and the um, and the fins and stuff, right? But we don't mind. We pay five thousand dollars, which is like twenty five US, and the amount of fish we get, we get it double. We just buy at Marple Market. But that's because we buy from the, the guys from the boat itself. So we clean it up here. The camera lady, missing. She already prepared the um, seasoning, the garlic and the... What else we using? Some ginger and thing, bandanio. We're gonna season these bad boys. And we're gonna start frying just now. So I'm picking my fresh bandanio off the tree. He already said. How can life get fresher than this? So as I tell you, Albert, by Raj now becoming more and more forced in the kitchen. Now the today this man was seasoning the fish. You see what I do when I clean fish? Missing recording. Raj, do your thing, boy. Seasoning the fish. Oh, you add some salt already. You already mm -hmm. add some salt and light sprinkle of salt and both of them. And now you're gonna add the seasoning. So this man is becoming more and more active in the kitchen. So, I got about 15 fishes here. My buy rats get about 15 and we fry them about 10. So, we get about 40 fishes for just 25 US, $5,000. This amount of fish clean at the market would have been about 10,000. Look at the ground, look at the fish in the kitchen. I love to see men in the kitchen. I love to see you men in the kitchen. And ladies, encourage young men to come in the kitchen and cook now. Men, the older men are of the opinion that kitchen are made for women, but that is wrong, my fellow men. Kitchen and housework is not made for women. It's made for everybody. You join hands and you help and you do whatever you can do. So you see how things are? You have both men and women in the office. You need both men and women in the kitchen. In order to have a great marriage, it's communication. Communicating and sharing the work and all the troubles and you know discussions, that's what matter. And you know, yeah, when I got to the court where they are divorcing this 50 50, both the others want. So, why not do 50 50 work in the kitchen too? Hope to see y'all men in the kitchen, alright? And this is how it should be, you see? Husband and wife working hand in hand. Oh boy, man, how can life get better than this? So, heading into my Chinese partner here, supermarket. We are getting my, we are getting my, my ice, and here is I run into one of my big fun here, man. How you doing, brother? Good, I'm good. I'm good. Glad to see you, man. I want to tell you, keep up the good work, man. Lovely. I got family in America and Canada. Never came back to Guyana. Over. They left 1980. Never came, came back, back. And to get all the negative things about. Say a Guyana. shout out to your family right now, man. Call some names. Mom, Carol Bumbry, I love you. Auntie Audrey in Canada. Dallon, Levi, Shermaine, I miss y'all. Guyana is nice. Guyana is awesome. I hear the negative thing, but my man showing you the beautiful part of Guyana. Lovely. Yeah, to yeah. keep up the good work, man. Good man. Bless, yeah, man. man. So, I come by my eyes and I run into my boy. He's the hey. chief security man here at the Chinese uh, supermarket. Uh, hey, it's a pleasure meeting you, brother. Pleasure to meet you, man. Keep up uh, the good work, good work. Man. Thanks, man. Helping right. everybody else bring tears to my eyes, especially yes. late for Pleasant. Pleasant, you live. Yes, okay, yes, bless, yes, man. Yes, bless. Thank you, man. Pleasure Very good, man. man. Cool. Yeah. So you see, I get my um, my fish all cleaned up here. 
Ik zou je de vis en dan weer bij een raadje zo je eten en ik ben de vis. For this right here, I'm gonna keep the the fish, you know, cool, chill until I get home. Now is the moment we've been waiting for. Food don't cook. Time to taste, all right? So missing. Now what do you think happened? The dal get thick. We can do nothing. It's relapse. The dal don't cook with nice. But this is what happened. No, no, no. I'm not gonna try to edit. I want you to see this is what happened with dal when you finish cooking it and it gets cold. It gets thick, right? Now what we're supposed to do, and we didn't check, we're supposed to add some water, put it back on the stove, and to reboil it. So you're gonna become more liquid, right? But that wouldn't stop us, you don't worry. I love it, look at this good, nice bhaji here, this huh? What the bhaji, you can chop, uh, chai bhaji, right? Nice chai bhaji. I know why. Look at this. Oops. All right. Hmm. You tell me, how can life get better than this? Man. This is Sunday morning food by the Anna Rice and Baji and Fried Fish. Cheers. Mm. Look at the goodness there. Many of y'all, Wish y'all had a plate of food like this. I'm sitting behind the camera swallowing she's saliva. Watching me eating, she's swallowing she's spit. No way. Hmm. No. This required this thing. The, the food not tastes sweet to that spoon. Like this. Hmm. Come on. Instantly the food tastes better. Tell me how the food works, mate. Cheers. I like you know because your wife cooked the food. Couldn't get any better than this. No. The hair ranch couldn't get better than this. For real. For real. Anyway, I know you are drooling. I'm sorry that we made you all drool. Hope you enjoy the video with us. Hope you enjoy the day with us. We started off this morning, my Raj and I. We went down to Mahaiko, the hoop. We went to go and catch fish. We didn't catch nothing. On our way back home, we ran into the boatmen them in Mahaiko and we buy them a lovely bank of Mary and bought the fish. In the meantime, we sing the cooking dana rice and the baji. Uh, and here it is. Salush. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you have fun with us. Roger, you have fun today, right? Yeah, I had fun, yeah. We enjoyed the day. It was an experience. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please show me some love. Hit that like button. Hey, please share this video so more people like yourself can see it. Stay safe. God bless you. Peace out. And see you in the next adventure.